everyone welcome to physics classes i am sarabdeep kaur siddhu here so today we will discuss about the solids about the difference between crystalline solids and amorphous solids clear see so uh, let's start the difference between crystalline solid and amorphous solids so first difference about the definition what is that regular in crystalline solid they have regular and repeating arrangement of ions molecules or atoms in a solid regular and repeating and in this irregular arrangement of ions molecules or atoms in a solid clear thing first difference then is amorphous they that's why they are called without any form without any form that's why we are saying irregular arrangement theek hai ji second point they have definite shape crystalline and amorphous solids they have indefinite shape they have indefinite shape and the crystalline solids they have long range order of atoms long range of uh, long range order of atoms means they have regular and repeating arrangement of ions molecules or atoms in a long range and amorphous they have short range order of atoms then is they are fourth this is very important they are an isotropic in nature and amorphous they are isotropic they are isotropic in nature what is an isotropic an isotropic means uh, the different physical properties like optical mechanical different in different directions for example we want to measure anything any physical quantity suppose linear density suppose in one direction its value is x and in other direction its value will not be x it will be y clear so different physical properties in different directions and they are same isotropic then about the melting point uh, crystalline solids they have sharp melting point sharp melting point and they do not have sharp melting point they do not have sharp melting point clear to six point is crystalline solids they are found in stable state stable state means uh, if first state is stable the energy is minimum or in a state of minimum energy clear and they are in a state of maximum energy because when liquids come in the state of crystalline solids more energy is used and remaining energy is very less that's why they have in a state of minimum energy and they are in a state of maximum energy so they are stable and they are not stable as like as crystalline solids clear ji next point is seven they possesses crystalline solids possesses uniform chemical composition uniform chemical composition and they do not possess uniform chemical composition theek hai if composition is uniform then what about the bonds all bonds are equally strong all bonds are equally strong and in this chemical composition is not uniform so all bonds are not equally strong not equally strong yes this is the eighth point and next ninth point chemical bonds are of definite length are of definite length and in this bond length and angles are not fixed are not fixed they have of definite length they are not fixed then next they have definite boiling point boiling point definite boiling point heat of fusion also we discuss melting point sharp melting point and they have indefinite indefinite boiling point and heat of fusion so this is about 10 point then is the 11th point uh, they are called as true solids they are called as true solids and they are called pseudo pseudo solids glassy solids and super cooled liquids super cooled liquids of high viscosity clear thing next 12 point they undergo clean cleavage clean 
cleavage or we can say cut along plane surfaces so when we cut the crystalline solid for example diamond when we cut the diamond with the diamond cutter we cut along uh, crystal uh, crystallographic axis and the cutting of a crystal is called cleaving of crystal is called cleaving of crystal and they don't undergo clean cleavage and they cut along irregular surfaces they cut along irregular surfaces and next point is 13 point that is they are bounded by plane surfaces uh, say f straight edges say e and interfacial angle say c or we can also say f plus c is equal to e plus 2 and they do not bounded by plane surfaces straight edges and interfacial angles do not clear t then is the 14th point 14th point is about optical absorption edge first of all what is optical absorption edge what is optical absorption edge the point where absorption intensity is at saturation corresponding to a particular frequency or corresponding frequency means that saturation means absorption intensity have maximum value that point is called optical absorption edge so crystalline solids in crystalline solids optical absorption edge that is sharp that is sharp and uh, in amorphous solids the optical absorption edge has a tail has a tail clear t and also the absorption uh, coefficient that is alpha absorption coefficient that is alpha that have maximum value in case of crystalline solids than in case of amorphous solids here yeah, that is also you can make another point about alpha and then is 15th point they are hard crystalline solids they are hard and what about amorphous solids they are less hard they are less hard and the last point about the examples and that is the 16th point clear thing and we know that the crystalline solids they are also in the form of single crystals in single crystals and in polycrystals in daily uh, use we use polycrystals and the, the examples also on the basis of the arrangement of the particles arrangement of the particles the crystalline solids are of four types what are the four types that are ionic covalent ionic covalent uh, that is a molecular and fourth is metallic metallic they are on the basis of the arrangement of the particles uh, between the binding forces between the particles and uh, if uh, ionic bond then ionic then covalent covalent okay, then intermolecular forces that is molecular and if metallic bond then is metallic for example, ionic MaCl, then covalent diamond graphite, then molecular uh, uh, ice, and uh, metallic iron, so on. So examples are MaCl, diamond, graphite, mica, rock salt, and so on. Clear see? And amorphous solids examples, uh, glass, rubber, plastic, cotton candy, and chalk. Many more. Clear see? So these are the points of difference between crystalline solids and amorphous solids uh, we discussed 16 points clearly and hope you enjoyed my lecture thank you very much next lecture i hope will be on crystal lattice thank you very much mm -hmm.